So one thing that was very interesting in your book is you go through Frederick Douglass yes. and W.E. Du Bois and Dr. King. Yeah. And then we get to Ella Baker. Yeah, And I'm Ella. like, why her? Oh, she's one of the greatest. Ella is one of the greatest. There is no civil rights movement without the example, the witness of Ella Baker. She's the executive director of Martin King's organization. See, she's executive director of SNCC, the young people who broke away from Martin. Ella's love for people, for black people, working people, poor people, and her deep suspicions of messianic modes of leadership, the charismatic man that people submit to and defer to. She's a Democrat all the way down. She wants all the voices to be heard. And in some ways, she's connected to Occupy, that I point out in the leaderless and leaderful at the same time. Don't we need leaders? The thing about Ella is, I mean, SNCC didn't, well, it sort of disintegrated eventually, and, and, and it's not like you can go and see fantastic speeches that Ella made. She doesn't, she doesn't feel like a prophet. Yeah, it's good because... But I, I yeah, I understand. It's not effective anymore if you yeah, don't have a leader. No, oh no, I think that people lead in a lot of different ways. You can lead quietly by example. And that's what she did. If we were to talk to giants like Bob Moses still alive, or if we, we could talk to Stokely Carmack or Diane Nash, they would say Ella was one of the great leaders because you can see by example she was someone who both inspired you, role of leadership, right? provided guidance by her actions and in conversation. But she's like a jazz musician, that she's antiphonal, it's a call and response, she's in conversation. She's not pontificating from above, she's having conversation on a horizontal level. And that's genuine leadership, but it's a different kind of leadership than Martin being charismatic and out there. But for me, there is no Martin King's movement without an Ella Baker's intelligence, imagination, and courageous witness.